2021. I feel like I can ask everyone that now. Photo shoot in June. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I've got about 20 of my clients there as well. So yeah, it's going to be big. Yeah. So I'm basically pushing up now until probably end of March. Yeah. And it'll be about 13, 14 weeks. Yeah, that's it. That'd be really good. Yeah, I, mean, I can't wait. It's so good to document as well as that. And I worked it out. I competed in 2018, and if I come in at 80 kilos of lean, which I think I will, I'll be 12 kilos up from like up your stage weight. Yeah, in, nice. in two years. Yes. So ah, that's very good. Very good. Very good. So, nice. That's great. That's the goal. What are you weighing at now? 74. So I think if I can push. The thing with food is I can push food up very high, yeah, and like yeah. I can take appetite. So I think. I reckon if I can get down to 85, I'll get up to 85 and still keep relatively okay. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. dropping back down would be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I, I think it's all right. Yeah. Have you found that actually you have to go quite low? No. Do you not? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite lucky. The thing is, I think, I said about this on my podcast, like, I haven't really pushed up like, and gone out of condition since my show, like, badly. Yeah. So I've always kind of kept kept close, yeah. So that's why I'm looking forward to like, I think when I've been busy, like I, I go and then I come back to yeah. work and the hours and stuff, but when I give myself a go, where I don't do it often, I can just push up and keep commission. So yeah. that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping not to get too out of shape, yeah. and then that'll make things easier. So. It does, I, I made that mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I got morbidly <laughs> obese last night. Yeah, and I, I think I pushed the white 105. Yeah. And I was just like, mate, and I dieted for 20 weeks. Like, it was real slow and steady, like didn't, and then I, I did a shoot and I, it was quite nice because this was like, because we were supposed to go back on stage this year. Yeah, oh, yeah, this year. Right, yeah. yeah, so we're like, oh, fuck it, sort of thing. Um, because of everything that goes on. And then, so we didn't have to come in like, yeah. So, but it was nice just to shift on the tip was there after a year and a half sort of thing. But yeah, I was like, oh, mate, like, I, like, that was the nice thing is that I could have pushed on for like four or five more weeks. Oh wow. Yeah, 100%. But then I was low on food, like I had to go low. Yeah. Yeah, like I finished on like, I think I finished gaining unnecessarily. I think I was fat, <laughs> but it was like 5.2 or something like that. But then I was like, training days was 1900, or 17. Yeah, I got low. And that was cardio every day, pretty much. And then 45 minutes. Yeah. And then post-workout and upper days for 15 minutes. When I did my, when I did my show, I went from 92 kilos to 69 in um, in 16 weeks, mate. It was, it was, and again, I was getting into that mentality of like, I don't know if you were like that, but you know when you're like, I need to get heavy because that means I'm going to be bigger, and that means I have more muscle. And um, mate, made me, I think I chased like five kilos in about eight weeks of just like pizza post workout, like it was stupid. Yeah. But just to get to 90 kilos, I was like, it's so important to do it though. Yeah, to experience it, yeah. and then yeah, because then you notice that I just know all that food was fucking wasted. Yeah. It was an expensive food yeah. bill, and then also you just like, well, I'm warming up with numbers now that I was working with at 105, and now I'm sitting at 92. Yeah. So you're like, oh, you were training and being like a bitch when you train. Yeah. So it was one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the greatest thing I've learned to stay lean. It's literally just training. I look, I look <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah. fucking simple. But now I'm like, I get away with eating everything yeah. now, and I'm like, oh, I'm still alright. Yeah. And I think a lot of people are like this. Yeah. And I think since I've changed my mentality of training, I've been the same. I think when, like, when I did my prep, I was doing the old uh, 15, 12, 10, 8. Like, and you know, you know when you finish it, you're like, yeah, that's six, like, move on. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even like failure at yeah, all. Yeah. And it's like, wow. And you know, in the last two years since I have changed my training up, I've actually trained hard. Yeah, it, it is mad. That's what I say to people. Like some people, you know, people are hard. You know, um, you know, I need to train six days a week, seven days a week. Like, four days, five optional of hard training, and you you will stay perfect. Like that's the nice thing about one to one coaching. You yeah. can teach failure. Yes. Online, you can't teach failure. Absolutely. I get hard. Yeah. Uh, I like getting videos through, and I'm like, bro, you had ten. Yeah. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Then that's the good thing, like, I know I'm going to Bristol Tuesday to train with a couple oh, of clients. And I'm trying to make more, like, more of the effort to do that sort of stuff. There, even like to train with you, yeah, things like that. Yeah. Just to train with as many people as possible, just because you learn so much. That, that's what I'm doing. Like, um, so I get to train my clients. I'm training up at. I train at LRF. Have you ever uh, heard of LRF in Ashford? Yeah, they've got yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, mate. It's unreal. So I got up there and like train with people up there. Like, I'm doing. I said to myself like. 
twice a week, at least twice a week, I'm gonna train with someone different yeah. and just like somewhere different as well, change your environment. Yeah. Um, you know, like coming up here, first time ever. Yeah. And I've, I've been into it for ages. So. Alright, guys. So what you know? We're not training back, right? <laughs> We're training chest and arms today, but what we like to do is hey, get some blood into the back, get some blood into your lat. When we're doing any pressing, we want to keep our lats engaged and we want to be keeping that real locked down into benches. So it's just nice to get that like little bit of blood in there to get it all firing and then we'll go into our chest movement. So just kind of like priming ourselves ready to go into pressing movement. We're doing chest, back, shoulders, legs, whatever it is. I'll always like to pre exhaust the muscle. So get blood into there and almost like before your big compound, you know, most people start with a big compound, I like to pre exhaust it. So when you go into that compound, the joints are nice and loose, that muscle's already worked. So actually, you can't lift as heavy on the compound, but you're just safer. You feel better, you've got a stronger connection with the muscle, and you're still going to progress on the compound, of course, but it just won't be as almost ego lifting as you would before. Big one. It's good. Come on. OCD, but it's surprising how you know. He knows exactly where this old bench is, he knows exactly how it feels, he knows the push up, things like that. He might not even do a 45 to press in his brand. He's like following my training program. That's, that's the thing, like, this is my second week yeah. of a high in time press. There you go, yeah. And where I went from like four weeks of no gym. Yeah. So yeah. I'm already like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's basically like starting a fresh yeah, movement. Yeah. So, so actually, yeah. yeah, so for so for yours, it's almost like getting your base weights for the first two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So it's good, so it's perfect, so it's cool. One set, six to eight, back off of 10 to 12. Let's go. Here you go. 37 and a half to six. Yeah. And probably 32 and a half to 10. That's the thing, it's like too many people just fucking miss fucking stupid. Yeah. I think a really good thing about lockdown is actually come back and almost just like reform yourself. Um, so like, because you always do it, like you chase numbers and like, it's important to do it sometimes. But then I actually just almost get a bit of a rain check and actually scrap it back to basics. Then we start with like a fucking bar squatting again sort of yeah, thing yeah. and build back up from there. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. See this is the worst thing. When you've been away for like, you got a head start technically. <laughs> you feel like you need to like, right. At least they've got 45s. <laughs> Oh, 
progress on the top set, so yeah. to pull off like a rep of that, it's cool, it's fine. When did you get the last one last week? Last week? I think you did the 40s for 12, so this is like 40.9. Like, and these your thing, they're just different. Even yeah. the setup, even the yeah. your leg, you don't right? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. It's the little things, it's the little things. Good, you've got two, you've got two. Let's get it. Get this, this is your thing. Oh. Some people will see that as like a negative, but the fact that he still went for that, he still get there's still tension in that chest, so he's still taking that muscle. Even when he gets it to there, it's still working. So if you can get whatever you can out of it safely, do it because it's still going to force stress, which is going to force growth. So good lad. That you know, that set was still five kilo from last week on my top set. So I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. focus group session and on that it was literally pick a training method for that focus session every week so yeah. either one week you do supersets one week you do drop sets and then mate fst like that seven stuff fuck me up oh yeah yeah, yeah. i was like, i like the concept of it but i was just like yeah yeah like the tensing in between yeah yeah i think it's definitely like uh, like arms like arms shoulders chest i think it works well with yeah like Fucking tense your legs after a hack yeah. No. <laughs> I'll sit on the ground for 20 minutes. That's about it. Oh, that's a little bit heavy. We'll be alright. Take 20, yeah? <laughs> yeah. As many as we can. shoulders I just think volume works so nothing massively heavy but just focus on getting loads of blood into the area and like just focusing on the contraction and squeeze I think that's honestly the best the best that I found to grow shoulders and arms it's worked really well so things like rest pauses drop sets things like that work really well and like then do your big heavy lifts on like your like your chest pressing and your kind of hack squats and your hinging movements things like that but I think, I don't know, just the volume's good. I like volume. Yeah. 
set simple personal so preference. It, yeah, it comes down to as well, like with, with isolation, like it comes down to actually feeling it and, and form. Like I don't know anyone, to honest with you, who side raises heavy and has decent shoulders, like round cap delts. I've struggled like one of my clients, he struggled with delts for like six years, he couldn't grow delts and I told him you know, took him through a proper delt, even like angle of the arm. Like a lot of people are there, but like their elbow is right bent. I like mine as straight as possible, and all I think about is leaning on my elbow and coming up to the delt. That's why I do a lot of cuff work. Yeah, yeah. And like since I've introduced cuff work on my range of motion and control, delts are brilliant. Yeah. But years and years of like trying to swing them twenties up, going like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, a, like you know, like trying to take the off. Weight around. Yeah, so it's not gonna happen. It's then. just shit. Also, your shoulders are small. Yeah. Your shoulders are a small muscle, like. You're never gonna be like really get heavy with them at all. That's it. But how like that's it. Just focus on different training styles that are gonna force them to grow. Don't worry about the weight stuff. More and again. Come on. Big push. One more. Come on. Up. One more. Come on. Don't stop, don't stop. That's the one, mate. Oh, stop it too early. Yeah. Yeah, the range of motion. Yeah, look. <laughs> also, that's an interesting one. Like, my range of motion, clearly not as good as his. <laughs> so that's the thing, you just like, you've got to adapt so that he can yeah. get his active range, range of movement is very, probably more supple than me. So actually, for me, that was perfect. That's all we'll do is we'll drop it down a little bit. Yeah. Awesome, man. Keep it tight. Finish it. Ah. Oh, nice. Golden. Much better. Although my arms were like resting against the pad, it was much better. I like to get that. Yeah. Like, I like to test it. I hate, I hate stopping. Like you know, when you just want a little bit more. That's the thing we got issues. Like everybody's dip bodies is so different. Like yeah, human body, fucking same liver, same lungs, whatever it is but joints for all of us sit very differently. So it's, that's what it comes down to. Joints, muscle tissues all attach and sit where sit where they sit for you. So it's just don't be afraid. Like if you train with people or whatever it is, or even if you get a training program and the movements don't work for well for you, mix them up. Like mix them up. Don't be afraid to swap and change some exercises around or communicate with someone to change it. So see how we do. So. Mate, this is where he's supple. I can't even get my shoulders up to that. Drive. Oh, come on. Big push. And again. Come on. Big press. Drive. Oh, you, all you, all you, all you. See it through. Good. Slow on the way down. Slow on the way down. That added a bit more view as well. Actually. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> cool. As you can tell. What we're doing with this one, guys, is like, it's a bit more of a tricep movement. So we're just tucking the elbows in slightly. Most of you, that's your, that's your chest movement. We're going to tuck in a little bit more, just to get a bit more tricep popping through. So literally, yeah. So it's just almost like a close grip push up. A lot of people get tricep, like when they're doing a close grip variation, a like close grip branch. A lot of people will keep their elbows in weird positions, but actually, you've got to think like, just come down. You gotta yeah. think like the, like the way the tricep works better. He's just coming in, elbows in. You know, it's just the same as a push down. If you're doing a push down, you keep your yeah. elbows tucked in. But you're not gonna be doing a push down like. Yeah. So it's, yeah. You know. Thing to always remember with like when you're doing like a close close grip press variation is that it doesn't need to be fucking close. Like it's not an exaggerated. Like if I was doing push-ups here, my close press is honestly probably about there. So it's nothing major. It's just closer than your normal kind of natural stance. It's like if you do like, I don't know, like a wide stance squat. My squat would be here, but then like a wide one would be there. Whatever feels comfortable for you. So just don't go over exaggerating it. That's it. Just a little tweak.
down in. Decent gym though, very decent gym. Finally experience the muscle works.